Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> he's a storyteller. <laughs> yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. <laughs> he gave me some tips. You two seem to get along well. <laughs> I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... Never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad will be. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me if you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you so you don't make a mess and get us caught.
we'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. Shit. These are Christmas presents? <laughs> Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Sean, hurry up. <sighs> okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but at least Stephen doesn't preach. I don't really see Stephen listening to old school pop rock music. Yeah. Not much to see in here. <sighs> Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. Did you see where she put the key? No, I don't remember. Oh, shit. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <sighs> Still, oh, shit. Well, <laughs> love the outfits, guys. <sighs> Man, he looks so different. So young. Oh, shit. Well, thanks anyway, Daniel. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. How much more Irish can you be? What was Claire doing in that room? Maybe she put the key in her pocket. The key may be in one of these pockets. Nope, nothing in here. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can't. Yep, it's empty. I can't find the key, Daniel. Then, let's just blow this stupid door. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she 
sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? They want to forget anything related to Karen. Don't you think happened all hm. the stuff in my room? I can relate. When we left. I don't know, Inano. I wish I could answer that. Okay. I think I saw a moon eclipse once, before Daniel was born. I miss my skateboard. You've seen everything going you to the park. To Claire and Steven will be home Let's soon now. Just five more minutes. Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was, walking my way down to Max. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. I think it's not plugged. This playlist is boring as hell. So that's how mom used to smell? I don't know. I don't think she used any perfume. Oh. Okay. I miss not having any memories of her, Sean. <sighs> the fuck is wrong with this? Oh, hiding spot. <laughs> Smart. <sighs> so, Karen was already serious about running away. Why did you wait that long? <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. I don't recognize any of these games. How weird are these sunglasses? Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun. During eclipses. Eclipses? You know, when the sun hides behind the moon. Oh, yeah. That must be so cool to watch. Did she tell you why? Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Did she tell you why she left? She told Dad and... Dad told me. He told you too, right? All he ever said to me was she wasn't so sure what she wanted with her life. Well, I guess she finally figured it out. Because she never looked back. Yeah, you finally left forever. Coward. Well, I guess she finally figured it out because she never looked back. And we have to do the same thing, too. I know. Is that an amethyst? Hi, teddy bear. <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. These pictures are so... random. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? It's like she so, almost never used those. You were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she took These good letters care look of you. pretty recent. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? 
I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. What's the problem then? If there's nothing to see, why lock us out? Or get mad. It's like you're in denial. I know that mom left us. And yeah, it made me mad. But at least we've moved on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that, going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! this. Claire, you'll have to pull him out. Hold on, Stephen. This might hurt. This is worse. Do it. One, two, three. Hold on. My leg. Almost there. Come on. Oh, my baby. <sighs> You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Oh, Stephen. Please don't say that. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone made a call to your grandson's friends from this house. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, 
No, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the drive. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Thanks, Grandma. We're gonna miss you. I'll stop that. We'll see you as soon as we can. Okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. Why? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Yanano. The car barely touched him. You... You said I should be more careful. But... Because of you. I didn't do anything, and... I could have. Hey. You don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. <laughs> you didn't even let me check on him. What if he is... dead? Daniel, we don't know that, okay? So, stop jumping into conclusions. We'll catch up on him as soon as we can. I... I... but... But I need to know. You will. Just... later. When it's safe. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But... I'm good with it, and I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... 
She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so... Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Thanks, Sean. Hey! Listen! There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. It's me, it's me.